Yes, indeed. It is a wild Wednesday, and the Easter Bunny was well, a big guy. He's going to be hopping <laughs> into town soon, and you could get a visit from one of his furry friends. That's Sandor the Giant Rabbit, and bringing him today is Amanda Winter, founder and animal specialist from Once in a Wild Zoo. And, and the, there's a reason I'm doing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> the more you pet Sandor, the better he'll feel, and the stiller he will be okay, <laughs> on the table. Got you, he loves, he loves that. Okay. <laughs> Look at his tail sticking up. <laughs> and he's like, he's just like in heaven right now. So I know. Okay. Stop. He loves it. <laughs> That's a really big rabbit. He is a big rabbit. So he's a Flemish giant rabbit, as I think we already said, and it's on the screen, um, which is one of the largest breed of rabbit in the world. They're what's amazing. He, what's he weigh? He weighs about 22 pounds, more or less. I haven't weighed him today. That's but. bigger than my dog, and he's yeah. a schnauzer. So is what that are some? Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, is that pretty oh, much okay. the biggest that they get? Uh, that I mean, some may be bigger than okay. others, depending on their weight and things like that. Females are actually a little bit heftier than the boys um, because mm -hmm. they have the babies usually, right? Mm -hmm. um, so they're usually a little heavier sometimes. Um, but that is about average of what they weigh. And is he a gentle giant? He sure say? is. He is definitely a gentle giant. He's given our little tortoise a kiss already. Mm -hmm. uh, he loves everybody and loves being pet. <laughs> and rabbits are rodents, <clears throat> excuse me, but a different kind of strain of rodents, right? Or are not they? quite. They're okay. actually not a rodent at all. So oh. rodents have different teeth than rabbits. Rabbits and rodents both have ever-growing incisor teeth that they have to chew on things and wear their teeth down. It's very important for them to stay healthy, eating the right foods, chewing on toys, things like that if you have them as pets. Um, however, rabbits are what we call lagomorphs. Lagomorphs are rabbits, hares, and pikas. So they're in a different family than rodents. And differently, you said they have four teeth on top and two on the bottom. That is right. You were paying attention from earlier, right? <laughs> there. They have four teeth on the top and two on the bottom, and rodents have two and two. And, and the hares are longer legs, you said? Yeah, right? so hares are close cousins to the rabbits, but rabbits have shorter legs than hares. Hares are a little faster. Hares have more uh, developed babies when they have their young, and hares tend to be a little more solitary than rabbits. And carrots are not eaten in the wild, right? They are not. Uh, rabbits do not eat carrots in the wild hmm. at all. It only comes from Bugs Bunny. Thanks, uh, Looney Tune. Um, that is a myth, but they can have carrots as treats on occasion, kind of like cookies okay. or banana pudding. <laughs> who, who is this guy with the... Uh, He's got some Look cool this, hair. His hair over uh, rock, the, wild, hair. the wild rock star over there, yes. that's Iggy Pop. <laughs> and Iggy Pop is a Peruvian guinea pig. Yeah. Now, Peruvian, is that is that why the long hair? Yeah, or? so it's a special breed as well. Mm -hmm. Just like Sandor the rabbit is a Flemish giant rabbit, that's a special breed. The Peruvian guinea pig has long, straight, ever-growing hair. <laughs> and that is actually a rodent right there. <laughs> He's a rodent, believe and, it or not. And you said they are not pigs, and they are not from Guinea. They are not where, pigs, And that's where do right. the names come from? So the word pig comes from um, <laughs> the fact that they squeal like a pig, and they even grunt like a pig. He's going to go say hi to our, our friend Iggy, too, and check him out. Um, but they do make noises similar to pigs sometimes they're very social and talk a lot with different yes. vocalizations and they used to sell them for about one guinea or less over in Europe when they brought them over as pets from okay. South America <laughs> and they do make good house pets you have they one do. we I used do. to have guinea pigs that we can't see your I face think so. there, there, we there he is. Oh, there he come is. on Mike you're ruining my yeah, style sorry. oh yeah. my goodness yeah, the buddy's gonna come photobomb and who do we have here <laughs> and the tortoise is gonna come he's coming right back <laughs> uh, this is Shelton John and he is a red-footed tortoise red-footed tortoise has come from the same continent as the guinea pig which is South America, and these guys are herbivores. They move slowly, and do you think they can swim? Or no, no. That was no the question, a, tortoise, right? mm -hmm. a tortoise cannot swim at all, so he would actually sink if he went into any sort of Aww. depth of water. They're not designed for swimming. They don't have web feet or flippers. They have what we call elephantine feet or tree trunk feet, and they carry their heavy shells and bodies only on land, and they only eat plants. I was going to ask, what do they like to eat? That's a great question. Yep. Shelton loves any type of plant or fruit, uh, but his favorites are actually bananas. <laughs> Interesting. We've got some banana pudding over there. I see. Maybe today. he's heading that way. <laughs> and we have got some more exotics coming up a little bit later on. If you like things that are kind of uh, slimy and scaly and creepy, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> colors. Yes, exactly. And you can book a Once in a Wild Zoo for any event coming up, so just contact them. We have all the information on salive.com, and you can click the as seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan that QR code. The, he's very friendly. Look at him. He just I know. All they all love each other. Got to be in the spotlight here. Thank you like so said, much. More coming up with the Amanda in just a couple of minutes. <laughs>